Welcome back to Craftastics DIY. My name is Janice, and I'm so glad you're here today. And I can't wait to share with you my super easy Halloween DIY. So stick around. So for this first DIY, I took two of these little styrofoam circles from Dollar Tree, and I took this plastic, um, I got it in the uh, school supplies area. It's like something you cover your notepads with. And I created a little um, sample of uh, peppermint. I just kind of like freehand it. And then I took that plastic and outlined it. And then I cut it out to use it as a stencil. I'm going to use pumpkin paint and using the silver glue that I got from Dollar Tree. The straw that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this glitter that I believe I got from Dollar Tree. And um, and I got this skewer that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So what I'm going to be making today is a peppermint. And I'm going to start with the stencil that I made with that plastic. And I'm going to start painting it with the pumpkin paint. I'm going to first take a thumbtack, put it in the middle just so it holds it down and doesn't move around. If you do decide to do this project, um, definitely you're going to have to wait between painting it and putting the glitter um, because even though I didn't have time to wait for it to dry, it kind of like didn't come out the best, but it still looks cute. So I'm just letting you know that you should let it dry overnight, especially the, the glitter glue takes a long time to dry. I found that out the hard way. So now I'm taking the pumpkin paint and I'm just outlining it on the outside around it, just making it blend. Um, and then um, I didn't let it dry like I said. I just went ahead and put the Mod Podge over it with the glitter. Um, it's not the best way to do it, but if you do decide to do this, you're definitely gonna want to make it, or want to let it dry overnight. So it's optional, it's optional if you want to do the back of it. I went ahead and did the back of it just to make it look nice, but you don't have to. So now um, I finished it and I put the, the glitter glue on the outline of it. I just showed you the one that I had before. And I'm showing you how it goes on the outside of the rim of the paint. This is the glitter glue I was talking about that takes 24 hours to dry. It's just takes forever so I'm outlining it just to give it just to cover like the imperfections it just and it has a sparkle to it it looks really nice So I'm taking the one that I did um, yesterday um, so to show you the next step um, because the other one would, wouldn't work because it's uh, still wet. Now I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm going to apply to the orange area. Uh, and then once that's complete, I'm going to put the orange glitter over it. So this glitter I got at um, Dollar Tree. You can get glitter anywhere, Walmart, Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree usually carries it. Um, so now I'm just applying it over the Mod Podge, catching it with the little paper there. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Um, so once that's finished, I will move on to the, the white area. I will apply the Mod Podge and do the same process, but with the white glitter.
This is really cute to do, especially um, Christmas time, the colors, the green, the red. I seen this on Pinterest, so I said, let me try to make it because uh, I'm trying to make something for Halloween. I don't want to take all my stuff out, so I figured, let me try this. I got most of my stuff from Dollar Tree. Um, so now I'm applying the Mod Podge to the white area, and there's the white glitter. I got this white glitter last year at Walmart. Um but you can get it. I don't know if Dollar Tree carries the white. You can check it out. They might. So here I'm taking some of this puffy black paint that I got from Walmart, just trying to make um, little lines in there. You really don't need to use this. You can use anything, but this is all I had that had the um, easy tip to, <laughs> I wasn't going to try to paint it with a paintbrush. So, um, but it looks okay. Um, but like I said, you don't need to use this step. Now this little, uh, I think I got this in a bag from last year in Halloween from Dollar Tree. Um, you know how they come in, like, I think they're flower stuff you put in vases, flower fillers. Anyways, um, I'm taking a skewer, and I'm measuring it to the straw, and I'm going to cut it, and then um, I'm going to stick the skewer. And um, once that is placed inside, I'm going to put the straw over it and um, hot glue it so it doesn't move. So because it wasn't dried completely, um, that's what I was talking about earlier, got to make sure you let it dry overnight. Um, you know, it kind of like blends together and runs together. But anyways, this is the end result to it. I did make a purple one as well. Um, you know, I made a couple of them in a black one just for the Halloween colors. Um, I'm dying to make the ones for Christmas cause I like the green and the reds, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so next DIY, I got this um, from Dollar Tree. It had um, summer stuff on there like seashells and sea beach or something like that. And I took the paper off and I got the boo or the, <laughs> the ghost from Dollar Tree as well. And I took it off the little stand. I'm going to be using black paint as well as the white Waverly and the pumpkin. I also used my Cricut machine and created some sten uh, not stencil, vinyl. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is painting the first slab at the top, pumpkin color. Okay, so now I'm using the white Waverly paint for the middle, and then the end one I'm going to be using black. So now I'm taking the little ghost and just taking a little bit of the black and just outlining the inside of the eyes and the mouth with a little bit of black and a little bit around the edges as well. So now I'm taking my stencil and I'm going to be applying it to the orange area. Um, 
for some reason when I went to apply the vinyl to that area it did not st <laughs> not stick but it kind of ripped right off um, you will see and then I had to uh, be pretty crafty and um, there you go it's just totally ripping the whole paint right off I don't understand what happened so now I was like okay well let me just get a piece of cardstock <laughs> and put it over the top um, well after looking at it I was like I don't like it because the original plan was the orange color the white and the black so um, I went ahead and continued uh, using the um, vinyl for the white area and the black area just to make sure it didn't rip it as well which um, it didn't so I was grateful um, but you'll see I do not use the cardstock after all So I took the cardstock off and I started to repaint it back to the orange color again. And um, second time around, it worked. <laughs> so there you go. And now I'm taking the ghost and I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to position it to my liking and then I'm going to hot glue it to the back of the sign. I think these came out so cute. I love it for Halloween. It's so festive. Okay, for this DIY, it's very quick and easy. I got a Dollar Tree frame. These little rub-on stickers from Dollar Tree um, just came out on um, uh, the other day. I picked them up. Um, they're Halloween rub-ons. So um, I'm going to take the glass and apply the rub-on to it. And this is what it looks like. I was debating if I should just leave it that way or put a backing. Um, then I decided to put the backing on and just put like some white foam um, or cloth it's called. I got that from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I'm just measuring it in the back. And then I'm going to hot glue it. And that's pretty much it. It's just a cute little sign for Halloween. Dollar Tree has a bunch of these little rub-ons for Halloween. Um, they they say different things though. So if you're interested, I'd go to Dollar Tree and grab them. And this is the end result. It's pretty cute. Cute for Halloween. Okay, for this DIY, I took this little uh, sign that I got from Target Dollar Spot and this um, card stock that I got from Hobby Lobby and a bunch of different type of paint. I have tan, um, I think a light green. I'm not sure on the name of it. I don't think I use it anyways. I just brought a bunch out um, in case I wanted to use it. But um I got that from Tar Target Dollar Spot, and it comes with these little pieces. There's only three dollars, um, and then it came with a sign that said "Hello Fam," but I didn't like it, so I'm using the "Hello Autumn" that I got from Dollar Tree. So now I am going to cut it out and put it inside the wood frame. Um, I already kind of like measured it with my finger and indented it around it. 
is the best way I can get it in there. So once it fits okay, I'm going to take some of the I'm going to take the glue stick and just glue it down. So now I'm taking a little bit of the pumpkin paint and mix it just a tad with the burnt umber just to tone down the purple, uh, not the purple, the pumpkin color. And I'm painting the Hello Autumn sign with the color. So I believe I'm taking the, it's called Agave, I think it's called. And I'm going to paint the little pumpkin with that color. Now I'm taking the tan color paint and painting the little, I think it's a squash. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a little squash. Now I'm taking the pumpkin color with a little bit of the white I think it's, no, I think it's off-white, and then I'm going to finish painting off the last pumpkin with it. Okay, so everything is dry, and I'm going to start um, gluing, hot gluing it, everything down. Um, those little pumpkins came with a self-adhesive uh, sticker in back, so I'm just taking off the paper and just um, applying it, figuring out where I want to uh, situate it. Now I'm taking hot glue and um, place it on the hot bottom sun. And then I'm going to take this ribbon from the tree and create a little bow. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to put it on top, but the wood was so thin. Um, so I did end up just applying it inside the actual top of the box. Um, and then I will take another ribbon. It's an orange ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm taking some jute twine and I'm just um, tying off the ribbon, making sure it's tight. See, I was trying to figure out if I should put it on that, but that ledge was so narrow. So I ended up um, having to put it inside the frame. And then I used orange uh, ribbon as well from Dollar Tree and some raffia. So I hot glue the ribbons down, now I'm hot gluing the raffia down, cutting it um, a little bit, trimming it down a little bit, and then, um, so I took that and I wrapped it around a pencil and just made it look like a little twisty look to it, and then I'm hot gluing it to each side, and then I took some of this, um, I got this from Dollar Tree, it came in a bag, and um, don't know what it's called, but I guess they had it this summer so I'm just applying two of the little pieces at the top and that should do it it's a quick and easy cute Halloween little sign you could put on your wall or on your table there you go isn't that adorable I like the cardstock the color contrast everything matches so cute well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then once again, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you.